All right, super secret instructions. Turn it on, and we get to our settings menu. Press and hold settings for more than five seconds. Ooh. And it takes us to that, and then we enter zero, 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 okay. Ta -da! Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> and then we're in our super sign setup. So, we hit our OK button, and the very first thing you have to change is silent mode operation from no, which is the default, to yes. Alright. And we pretty much left everything else the same. Hit our back button, and then we're going to go down to super sign server setup, and we can give our player a name. We're going to change this to our default circa naming conventions in a second. We're going to set the manual IP address of okay. the server. So normally, by default, it's IP auto. We're just going to hit our channel over button, and that's going to give us the ability and then down to set our manual settings. Makes sense. And then we go to OK, hit our back button. Well, right now it's going to say not connected because our server is off. offline. And again, same thing with our configuration setup menu. We can do USB auto playback, a couple of other different options. We're leaving them all at defaults. And ID setup, same so thing. So rather than doing the, uh, rather than pushing the content using a USB, you're doing it off of a workstation? Correct. We're going to set up SuperSign Server, which will be our software that will manually push and schedule content. We can also do it off a of USB if we have special, in, in the event, let's say our server goes down, or in this case, we want to ship them with content because we want them to be able to play for the grand opening, which is the day after installation. We're going to um, get some USB drives, load the content on, so we've got immediate content upon installation. Right. And then we can play with everything once we get it set back up. And then we're just going to back out of it, and she's good to go. So in this case, we go back to settings, and we scroll over to My Media. We're going to see our USB drive. Keep hitting Enter. Well, our folder is empty. Well, what do you know? I guess I have to fix that. I forgot to push my content over. So anyway, in there would be our .cts file, which would be our content. We would click on that, and it would automatically start playing the content. Cool.